how I've made the jaw crusher. It's basically made up out of steel angle. It's 120 mm it's about 10 mil thick, I reckon. Just over 12 mil thick. Um, lots of pieces of that, a couple of bandsaw, all welded together to make the framework of it, make a nice strong framework. Got a little hopper on the top. Um, I'm going to redesign it all at some point because it's not quite as good as I'd like. Um, the blades, or the teeth, all made up old scraper blades, uh, assuming that they were harder than normal steel, but they have worn off quite a lot. I do with some along the other face as well, really, but you see it's taken a battering, it's had probably 20 tonne of rubble through it. Got a 60mm shaft. Running through some pillow block bearings, a couple of eccentrics machined and welded on to the shaft, and then a couple of 75mm pillow blocks were in there originally, but their cast iron housings broke when I had a bit of metal drop into it, so that's just been temporarily <laughs> made to work. But um, it's up in a little trailer that's made from an old caravan trailer, a couple of indispensation units. All hooked up. Fred Dibner would have loved it. Yeah, it's a bit of a work in progress, needs some counterweights. I'm gonna redo this whole central jaw plate and toggle plate. We've got about I think it was about eight mil offset on the on the crankshaft, so it's probably a total of about 16 mil movement up and down on the top. About a 45 degree angle on the bottom of the toggle plate. You can't really see in there, but it works pretty well for something that's made out of scrap metal. 150 quid's worth of parts. 50 quid car to run it on. Nice fuel efficient Peugeot diesel. Yeah. Not bad looking bit of drive. I'll wash the machine cap right there. Let's see what it makes of that.